What's going on guys, Matt here, Acoustic Selection. I hope you're doing well, God's doing big things in your life. In this video, I wanna just go over briefly why I teach the four main chords the way I do, the G, the D, the E minor, and C. We're gonna use the song, Blessed be the name of the Lord, Blessed be your name, Blessed be the name of the Lord, Blessed be your glorious name. Y'all know I've got a four chord song book that's 40 songs that just use the chords G, C, E minor, and do, do, do. Cut that out, who's my editor? G, C, E minor, and D. Okay, I can talk a little bit. So use four chords G, C, E minor, and D. And also, probably 75, 80% of the songs I teach on all my YouTube channels use those four chords, G, C, E minor, and D. Now people always say, Matt, why don't you teach them the regular way? And you, yours are, or maybe yours is different than I was taught. Why do you do that? I wanna show you very quickly why I do that, particularly if you're a beginner. So I'm gonna kind of lower my, my lens here. So when I first learned guitar, the G chord, the guy taught me, put your ring finger in the bottom string and then go fifth and sixth. Blessed be the name of the... When I go to a D chord, I would take all my fingers off. I'd go third and bottom string of the second fret and second string of the third fret from bottom four. For your E minor, I'll take again all my fingers off. I would use my middle finger and ring finger and play the fifth and fourth string. Strum all six. And then the, for the C chord, which I could never get at first, especially, this kept me so frustrated, it even kept me playing in church a long time. Take all your fingers again off again and play the second, fourth, and fifth. Strum the bottom five. So it'd go, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your glorious name. That's the standard way if you just looked up the chords G, C, E minor, D in a book and you, you were trying to learn by a book or maybe somebody else's videos, the standard way. The reason I teach this simple way of playing these chords, because first of all, it was a game changer for me. What I try to do, if there's something, whether it's a Bible verse, a music lesson, or really anything in life that has been such a blessing to me, I try to just pass it on for others. Y'all hear me say that all the time. I want to be a blessing, a channel of God's blessing, not a reservoir. So, so what I do is lock in these two, take your pinky finger, ring finger, and lock in the two bottom strings. So the bottom string with your pinky, second string with your ring finger. And this stabilizes that guitar to make the chord changes very simple. So you would go for a G, keep the bottom two locked, fourth and fifth, strum all six. To D, just simply move it first finger down to the third string. For E minor, just take that first finger and press the fifth and fourth. And then for a C, just move this finger down while you put this one on the fifth string. So see how easy? It's gonna make it so much easier for a beginner to begin playing songs. Now again, later on down the road, after you train your mind, you train your, you train your fingers what to do, you get to hand eye coordination, you can do all kinds of stuff up and down the guitar. But I promise you, if you're a beginner, you get so frustrated. I literally went for years and could not go. I could not go to that C chord. So my mom would always say, Matt, can you play for us in church? I said, I can't do it. If I could have done this, just by lowering my first two strings, it sounds just as good. Especially, this is what people don't realize, with acoustic guitar, if you're playing lead guitar, it's got to be like... You gotta have every note right, which again, I'm, I'm awful at lead guitar. But with acoustic guitar, particularly if someone's singing, whether it's country, worship, whatever. All you're doing is creating a sound and a rhythm in a certain key so that somebody can sing the melody. You're kind of playing the backdrop. So that's why I highly recommend you learn these, these four chords this way. G, all six. C, just slide your two fingers down to fourth and fifth. Bottom five, D, just press the third string, turn the bottom four. E minor, if you have smaller hands and need to use your middle finger and ring finger, that's fine. I, just, I have bigger hands, so I just use one finger to press the fifth and fourth together. So you can see, blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your glorious name, give and take. Play thousands of 
tons of songs, uh, like I said, with just those four chords. So here's a little shameless little plug. I've sold thousands of these things, but I really think it can help your personal praise and worship time, maybe for a church group or whatever, by simply doing the, um, let me see here, by getting this four chord song book on my website. So right when you go on there, it's just 10 bucks. Looks like this, it says four chord, four chord worship book. Um, and it's going to, like I said, it's going to make a big difference in your personal worship time, that kind of stuff, for just the cost of a Chick-fil-A meal. Actually, I just went to Chick-fil-A, it was over 10 bucks for my 12 count nugget meal. But anyway, so anyway, guys, go check that out. Work on those four chords. Let me know in the comment section below if it was a big difference maker to you. If you learned four chords this traditional way, or if you learned from my, my videos or whatever, and what you like about each one, and we'll get a little discussion on there. Like I said, it, it was just such a game changer for me when I learned to lock in those two bottom strings. So, hope it helps you guys. Please smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe if you haven't already. And check out the website, AcousticSelection.com. All one word, AcousticSelection.com for all my merchandise and, and videos, DVDs, that kind of stuff. So, love you guys. God bless you.